in this video we will be talking about the five levels of worship leading welcome back to another episode of one set clavier and today we will be talking about the five levels of worship leading before I begin, I'd like to introduce myself again. My name is JB, a first year college student. And today, I have discovered about the five levels of worship leading. Honestly, I had no idea about this one, but when I was able to tackle this in our, in our studies, I was so curious about it. And I find it that the information written here is very, very informative useful actually and I do believe that it is very applicable for everyone and I also suggest that everyone would also do this or follow these five levels of worship leading so when it comes to worship leading one of the most important things that one person should achieve is leadership skills of course when it comes to leading people should always learn or how to develop this skill but how would you develop such a skill if you haven't attained it yet and then you'll be going on leading in worship services now according to john maxwell's book which is the five levels of leadership it also applies in worship leadership it is important that there is someone or anyone whatever his or her part or task is who would lead out the service like maybe in on the song services probably or whatever parts you are being assigned to do in the church continue leadership growth happens when you advance from level one to level five so we'll be following whatever john maxwell has suggested starting from level one then up to level five it says here that you cannot skip a level and you must maintain prior levels as you grow very interesting mm -hmm. maxwell also defines leadership as influence as worship leaders, we are trying to influence our volunteers to be committed and the church body as a whole to know and love God more. Hmm. So let us go and read about it and start with level 1. Level 1. Position. This is the first level you began your journey by being granted a position. This level of leadership has the least influence. Influencing others takes a lot of work and requires stepping up to the next levels of leadership yes and i do believe it is the first step you are given a position do not expect people to follow you just because you were granted a position do not expect them to be committed or exceed your expectations yes i do believe so having this uh having this position if you're granted one the first time as a leader i mean i myself as i when I was in my high school days, I was given positions such as a leader of a group and I don't know, my members wouldn't really follow or listen to me. So yeah, I do believe this is the, one of the most least influence. Just like what Maxwell said is important, influence is very important. So it will take time actually. Next, level 2 which is permission. To reach the next level of leadership, you must develop relationships with your worship band or to your members so that they give you permission to lead them. People go along with leaders they get along with or people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. Very interesting. Yes, I do believe that developing relationships is important when it comes to leadership skills. To build a strong relationship with your constituents or members, you need only one thing in particular, and that is to daily communicate and socialize with them. Invest the time to earn their permission as a leader, and your influence will increase. Yes, exactly. It is important that you learn how to develop this bond, this relationship with your constituents or your members. Yeah, and give a bunch of attention to them. You communicate, you socialize with them. You get to know each other of course why would you follow someone whom you don't even know or have an idea of who he or she is so yeah next we're going to level three which is production the next level of leadership is production this is not production in the sense of audio 
and visual elements in worship. This production refers to your competency and ability to get, to get, to get work done. If you want to grow your ministry and grow your church, you need to continually grow in your skills and be a productive leader. For worship leaders, that means becoming a better musician, theologian, and growing in one's understanding of how to use technology in worship. So yes, so after you learn, after, uh, I'm sorry, after acquiring your position as a worship leader, then we go on to the next level, which is you have to make this kind of good relationship, this bond with your members. And at the third level, is that you should learn how to improve or you have to hone your skills. It also means being disciplined and working hard. Avoid being a last minute planner. Your band or your members and your congregation will want to follow you more as you contribute to the advancement of the church's mission. So yes, it is more of being a responsible individual. Next on is level four, people development. Once you have established meaningful relationships and the discipline to be a productive leader, hmm, the next level is people development. At this level, people will follow you because of what you do for them. It is necessary to begin developing other team members into worship leaders. Yes. yes. Now, this is very important as a leader, yet you have to achieve the level 4, which is the people development. Once you have acquired all of this, I mean having a position, having a talent and skills that and home skills this discipline this responsibility of being a leader number four which is to develop your members yeah. was that a little bit confusing Lastly is level 5, which is the leadership development. The pinnacle of leadership is developing others to level 4 leadership. In other words, you develop leaders who develop leaders. You develop leaders who develop leaders. Yeah, what you develop leaders, you also develop leaders. This type of leadership is how you leave a legacy because now your influence impacts exponentially more people. Yes, I guess in level 5, this is where we really focus on making or turning our members into worship leaders. Making them into worship leaders, it is important that we impart to them the right knowledge, the right skills, the, and the importance and the correct ways of worship leading so that in the long run, in the future, probably, your members, which are actually like students, will also pass down what you have taught them. Yes, it is also similar when it comes to teachers teaching their students, then the students will be teaching the other students, and the students will be teaching them, and that, and that, and that. It's true generation to generation. And there you have it, the five levels of worship leading. I hope you understand. Let's go. Always remember that we always begin with level one. I forgot to mention this. You are not able to skip even one level before you would achieve the worship leading level. Just remember that you don't skip one of these levels, like from level one, then you go to level three without even going to level two. No, that's not how it works here. You need to follow the process, just like in making or baking cake or by... Uh, you need to go through this process and it takes time. I know it takes time, maybe a bit of a long time, but at least slow process means slow progress but with big... You get what I mean. Anyway. 
thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have learned a lot in this discussion, even though I didn't much mention about mentioned a bit of information about it. But I do suggest you subscribe for more very interesting content. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.